Hey guys, I wanted to come in and show you why and how I organize my OBS files in PowerPoint. Um, so I use PowerPoint for every single graphics project I ever do. Um, it is amazing and most people don't realize how powerful it is um, and we only think of it as a slideshow software. But I don't even use it for that. <laughs> so here's why I love it for uh, any type of graphics creation. First of all, the standard size of a PowerPoint slide is uh, 1280 by 720, which is the exact resolution that I'm choosing to stream at. And so whatever I design on a standard PowerPoint slide will fit my OBS slide pretty much perfectly, maybe with just a few little tweaks. Um, so what I do is I love PowerPoint because you literally can just keep, you know, your entire collection of scenes um, right here, right next to you. You can view all of them real fast and simple. Um, so I'm just going to walk through what I do. So I I actually even use the slide like this new design. I, this is a slide. If I click on this one. This is, a, this is just one slide and I put in giant letters new design. And I do that to organize my slides. Um, you can actually group slides and, and add sorters and everything, but I've tried that and just this is just works fine for me. So I just use this as like a little file folder system. So these are my new designs for OBS. I redid my slides maybe oh three or four weeks ago. Um, so this is my new design, and then I keep my. So this is a uh, graphic that I use. I use this as my. Um, placeholder graphic for all my live streams. So it's not the waiting scene, but this is the graphic that is up before I'm even live. And I just use the same exact one. Um, I used to separate them between Pio and Turbo and they just got a little too tedious for me. I like that idea. I know Carla, you've been doing that and it looks really, really good. I love how it looks, um, but I just couldn't keep up. So I do one picture. Um, and it's just very generic for every class I do. Then now we're getting into my OBS slides. So this is my welcome slide uh, that they see when they join my live stream. Now what I did is I designed the whole thing in PowerPoint, but then you have to pick and choose what you want to save as your image because you want to make sure that you you have to kind of think ahead about what do you need as far as transparency. So, for example, um, I couldn't save this entire thing as one picture because ultimately I want this area to go away to reveal my camera, right? Or if the camera came in front of everything, um, I would want some things behind. Does that make sense? So what I did, let me just close that. What I do with this, with at this point then is after, oops, after I have it designed, um, here, let me move myself up here. After I have it designed, um, I, I have to think, what do I want as one picture? What do I want in pieces? That's really what you have to decide. What do you want as pieces that you can move around? What can you have as just one flattened image? Because uh, what I've learned is that if you have, the less pieces you have on a slide or a scene in OBS, the better. The easier it is on your computer to encode that, to stream it, to get it to your people faster so you have less um, problems. So so if I, if I click through this, like this is a text box. Okay, that's a text box. These are all, actually I've grouped these. Let me ungroup them. I'm gonna right click, um, ungroup. Okay, so I ungrouped everything. So that's a piece, that's a text box. This this back bar is a, is a bar, a shape, a rectangle. Um, that's a shape, that's a shape. This is my black rectangle bar here. This is a text box. This is a text box, this is an image. This is an image. Uh, this is this is actually two text boxes, um, and I added this today, so that's even completely separate from everything else. So basically, what you have to decide is what do you want to group together. So for my welcome scene, um, what I have done is I grouped together my logo, my name, that black bar, the teal bar. And then the subscribe button, the black background, and all these text boxes here. So I select everything by holding down the shift key 
and I can choose everything at the same time. And then when everything is selected, you'll just want to make sure you can still see the, the crosshairs on the arrow there. And then you right click and you choose group and group. Okay, so now that put everything, oops, not that one, sorry. That put everything that I just selected into one piece. That's one piece now, okay? Um, and now I can save that one piece as one image rather than having all of those separate pieces that I have to insert all separately into OBS and that would just become a nightmare when you look at your sources panel. Um, so now, and, and this is one piece on purpose because I want that transparent area. So let me just move these out of the way for a second and just so you can visualize here. So I want, I want this to be transparent because I want my camera there. And then I want this just to be teal because I have a scrolling social media icon and my disclaimer. Uh, I have a scrolling image there. So I don't want anything there because I'm going to add that later. But all, everything else is going to stay the same. So these, this can be one piece. So then what I can do after it's grouped, I just right click on it and save as picture. And then you'll want to find your OBS folder. So I keep everything. You want to keep everything you do in OBS in one folder. Super important. And you don't ever want to delete that folder. Because if you delete the folder, all your pictures in OBS go away. It's all linked to the, the files on your computer or into the folder that you choose. So I have mine in my OBS work folder in my name, Kate. And then these are all my OBS pictures or any image or graphic or anything I do in OBS, I put it in this folder. Now, I'm not going to really save this because I already have mine saved, but I would definitely name it. And you want to make sure it's a PNG file because PNG files will save transparency. JPEGs will not. So if you save this as a JPEG, you would just have a big white space where I had that open space for my camera which, I mean, it might not make a difference, but it might. It just depends on what you're creating. So make sure it's PNG, um, and then you can save it. I'm not going to really save mine. And then that's one picture. Then what I did is because I wanted, um, I wanted to be able to move these things around. Now that I think about it, I could actually probably, I could probably add this into, um, into this saved file because my camera will just pop out in front of it. I know that's kind of hard to like explain. Um, I'll probably change that in the near future just to make things more simple. But then what I have is um, this reminders box. So I used to have a whole entire separate scene for my reminders, which essentially was the exact same scene, but with my reminder box just on top right here. But I thought, you know what, I don't need to have a whole separate scene. I can just insert it as an image, and then I can hide it and unhide it when it's time to talk about reminders. So that's what I do. So literally all I do for reminders is same thing. You can group these two things together, group them, and then you save this as a PNG, okay? Now let me go into OBS and show you then what that looks like on my welcome scene. Okay, so on my welcome scene here, you're going to see, slide this over, um, you're going to see my welcome frame. Let me find it. I have a lot going on here. I need to condense this, but I've been playing around. So here's my welcome frame. Now, if I unlock it and show you that I can move it around, it's all that, it's just that one piece that I showed you, right? Okay, I got to put it back in place now. What I don't like about OBS is there's no undo which is really hard for me because I'm so used to just control Zing everything. <laughs> so that's the welcome frame. And then what I did is I took that graphic of that reminders and I inserted it just as a picture. And if I unhide it, you're going to see it. It's right there. And actually I need to grab it and move it because, um, oh, come on, let me grab it. It's not letting me grab it. And now I'm messing up. This happens a lot. This is one of the frustrating things about OBS, you probably noticed. Um, reminders, reminders. Let me grab the reminders, OBS. Why aren't you letting me?
Oh my gosh, you guys, it's driving me nuts. Oh, maybe I have to unlock it. I have to unlock it. <laughs> okay, learn something. You have to unlock it, obviously, to move it. Otherwise, you can't move it. So now I can I can make sure it's red. And now I can make sure that is covering up. See, this is just an image. That's just the image I inserted. And so instead of making a whole new slide for it, I just put it on top. Remember layers, I put it on top of all the other stuff and then I can lock it in place and now when it's time to do reminders I can just hit that little eyeball and it switches and it looks like it's this magical effect but all it is is a picture you know just on top of a, of my frame that's all it is um, and so now if I hide and unhide my front camera the way I have things layered when I hide the camera you see my entire waiting scene there and actually let me unhide my or hide my reminders so this is what people see when they join the stream and then all i have to do is click my front camera and the camera is going to come to the front it's going to come in front of everything that's right here hi cameras in front everything is behind it's still there it's right there everything comes to the front so layering your stuff is really important and figuring out where it should be in the layer so that it's just one click and boom, you've got a whole new scene going here. Okay, so let's go back to PowerPoint. I'll show you the rest of my scenes. Um, so then I have my workout scene. So what I did with my workout scene, oops, um, same same idea. So the this item here is, oops, it's already grouped. This is, oh my gosh, let me grab it here. There we go, one graphic. This is just one graphic. Now, I pieced this together. I made this, and I grouped it. This is all grouped together as a text box, an image, and then a couple shapes. And what I did is these are also all separate pieces up here, but I, when I created the scene, I grouped all of these top things together as one piece. And so if you go into OBS on my workout slide, my top bar, my upper bar right here, it's just one one image, it's one piece, because I didn't feel the need to have, I didn't have to move this around and this around and this around. It can just be one, one thing, right? But then I wanted to add in the disclaimer a little bit larger, and so I added on this picture, this image, because what I want it to do, so I designed it in PowerPoint, I want it to just pop up right over my other disclaimer, kind of like a little drop down, so it has that effect. And so it's just another image. I just saved it as a PNG file. And then on my workout scene, uh, right here, I named a disclaimer. And if I unhide it, it's gonna appear, it's gonna appear to drop down and pop off right there. Hi. <laughs> okay, so that is how I made my disclaimer a little bit bigger. So I, I plan to be more, uh, direct about my disclaimer and like I want I need to read it out loud before I do my workout and then I can just hide it again by pushing the eyeball during the workout okay hide my pointer there um so that's my how I designed my workout scene in PowerPoint and same thing with all the other pieces here so that's a piece on my workout scene this was one whole piece on my workout scene that was one whole piece and then I just literally saved this teeny black rectangle as an image and inserted it on my workout scene. Vertical black bar. <laughs> I can hide it and unhide it. It's just, it's just a rectangle. Um, okay, then I have my end scene where uh, I wanted to have the same effect as my welcome scene. So I did not save it all. Although, I really think I maybe could have. No, actually I couldn't have because of how my logo is right here. Because I want my camera to be behind that. So anyway, what I did is I, this is just te a text box. Okay, so that was saved separately. Same thing, I grouped all of this together. It's already grouped. See, that's just one image. I designed it all separately. Okay, if I ungroup it, these are all separate pieces. But I, I knew I didn't need to have any 
anything changing. I didn't need to have anything scrolling. I knew this could just be just this. And so that's one piece. And if you go into my OBS file and my thank you scene, you'll see that my thank you frame, if I hide it, it was all of that. It's just that one piece. It's one picture. Okay, and so then uh, I wanted to have this text as a as a background, and so I just I didn't even if I save if you save a text box as a PNG file, it will be transparent, which is awesome if you want it to be transparent. I didn't want this one to be transparent, so what I do is I take a screenshot on my Mac. I do Control Shift Four. And then I take a screenshot of the area that I want, and that saves it immediately to my downloads folder as a picture. It does save it. I think it saves it as a JPEG. Um, let me just check here. I don't even know what file it saves it as. Whatever it saves it as, it's not transparent. So all of that white is going to show up, but that was okay. For me because in my OBS file, oops, um, if I hide my front cam, that's what I wanted. I just wanted it to be white. And now the reason it's off center, because I can move this, oops, nope, I'm moving my, my um, i got to unlock it first. End screen unlock. There we go. That's just the, that's just the screenshot. So the screenshot is behind, you can see how it's behind my frame. And I had it off center slightly because at the end of my show, I show my schedule. And so I wanted it to be centered with the schedule. So anyway, that's how my, how it's all pieced together. And that's how I use PowerPoint to organize everything and design it. So first I use PowerPoint, I design everything in PowerPoint, and then I decide what pieces need to be saved as groups, what pieces do I want separate, what pieces need transparency, what pieces can be screenshotted, all of that. And then you just put it all into OBS once you have it all in your folder. Um, other things I have in PowerPoint, um, these were other just random pieces that I was designing. And then in my other section, um, this is just kind of where I put miscellaneous stuff. This is a picture that I put on YouTube. Uh, this was a day, I literally just took a screenshot of this and put it in my turbo hit workout and it was awesome. I just revealed the moves as we went through them. Um, I have the logos for Pio and Turbo here if I need them. And then I have some other random images. So that's it. I only have 10 slides in this flat file and it's basically my entire OBS setup. And I can tweak things as I go. I can make small changes. Um, and the really cool thing you guys was also how OBS is set up. Like, let's say I make a tweak to something. Let's say I tweak this. Let's say I save it, I redo it, and I want to save it in the new form, okay? If I save this new image to the exact same file folder that OBS is pulling the files from, I don't have to do anything in OBS, and it will change automatically. So that's really cool. Um, so, yeah, so I wanted to show you guys that. That's how I use PowerPoint. Um, to save things and to create and to design everything I've designed and I have I'm just kind of continually tweaking and continually learning how I can use both tools um, to just keep adding and fun new features like did you see my post about the gifts that's really fun <laughs> um, now we'll actually see I'm gonna we'll see in the stream tomorrow if adding in all of these fun little animations, if that affects my streaming quality at all. Because I know that it does um, take more power on your computer to do all those things. And as you can see here, I definitely need to um, do some condensing of some pieces because I have just kind of been building piece by piece the last couple days. And now that I kind of know my layout, now I know like, okay, which pieces can go together, which pieces can need to be separate and all of that. So I hope that's helpful. You guys know it's kind of long 20 minutes, but um, that's how you can use PowerPoint and it's super awesome. Okay, you guys, I hope it's helpful. Ask me any questions and have a great night. Bye.